Hi everyone, today we're gonna to do a screen replacement on an iPhone XS Max. As you can see, the whole screen is just kind of blacked out. If you kind of look up here, I think you'll see like, well, I think that maybe the battery's dead, but the only thing you can see on the screen was like a little green line up here. That's it. This in my store is gonna be $150 charge. The screen right here costs $60, which is gonna give me $90 in profit. This phone is so super easy to fix. It takes like 15 minutes. I'm probably not even gonna do much editing in this video. It's just gonna be just straightforward. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to take off the bottom two screws of the phone. And the way we do that is with an iPhone, uh, they call it a pentalobe screwdriver. And you're gonna need different screwdrivers for this phone. So here we are, the two screwdriver, the two screws right here. And then we're gonna take our heat gun and blow heat at the bottom of the phone. So the heat allows the, uh, the adhesive to soften up and then we can stick this in here, a tool like this. And then we can grab a like gift card that's like this and use that entry point right here to open up the screen. So I'll just go down like this along the sides can take that out and then go around and then we can blow heat right here. All right, so I'm taking over at this point with the voiceover. I had a customer that walked into uh, the store and for their repair, they decided to wait inside the store. So this phone has a total of 12 screws. That's it, just 12 screws from start to finish. And what I'm doing here is just taking out four of them. As you see that I lay the shield right next to those screws and pay attention to how I'm laying them out so all the screws are in order because some of them are different sizes. And then that's the other little metal shield. Now, since those little two shields are um, taken out, I can unplug the screen because those shields, they cover the screen connections. And then this uh, cable at the top, this long cable, uh, that's uh, responsible for the ear speaker the ear speaker has a long cable connected to it. And then here we have three screws that we have to take out, which we're gonna transfer this, uh, this ear speaker onto the new screen. So you take out three screws from this. So you see there's one, two, and that's the third one. So then what I do is blow a little heat. I blow a little heat to soften the adhesive. Now I would say that this phone actually had been repaired before. So it was a little easier to take out the, uh, the whole ear speaker uh, area of it, as you can see here. And then all we do is I get the new uh, iPhone XS Max screen. Um, I take off the little wrappers right here. And then I go, and then I notice that um, that little plastic piece right there, usually when you get a new screen, it's already glued onto there, but this one wasn't, but that's fine. All you have to do is just stick it in its place and then uh, connect, work in reverse, basically. I connect the ear speaker to the little slots of the little plastic piece that you saw on the top of the screen, and I just work in reverse. I get my three screws and I screw the three screws right back in. As you can see they're all laid out perfectly fine in order so you don't get screws scrambled and mixed up because you put in one screw in into another hole that it's not supposed to go to, it won't screw in. It won't even go in. It, it, even if you have the like, even if you try to screw it in, it won't, it won't screw in. It's a different size. So then I start at the top, um, I plug in the ear speaker connection right here. I flip it around, kind of, if you kind of saw how I did that, that's my kind of, uh, that's how I plug that part in right there. 
and I plug in the rest of the, the other two connections that connect in the screen. And then I grab that long shield right there. All I'm doing is, oh, I'm making the screw holes aligned. So it's easier to just grab a screw, put it in the hole, screw it down. And as you see, I have the other three screws there, as you see, going from the top and then working my way down. And I have my last screw. And then after this screw is uh, screwed in, I grab the other shield right here. I put that into place. And then I start screwing those screws back in. See, this phone is it's it's pretty easy to repair. So this is the 10s Max. The iPhone 10s, the smaller version of this phone, is the same exact thing. The the 10s and the the, actually, the, the small 10s and the iPhone 10 are the same. This one just has one more shield with a couple of more screws. But all three phones are all the same. There's no, there's no really much of a difference between any of those three phones. If you can repair one iPhone, you can repair the rest. All right, so the last thing is this phone actually had like no battery. So the, the customer let the battery run out because they couldn't use the phone anyways. So the last two screws that you put in are the ones at the bottom. And then that's pretty much it with this phone. And there you go. iPhone XS Max screen repair. All right, everyone. And that is the screen replacement on an iPhone XS Max. For those of you guys that are maybe interested in doing this for a living or doing this for a, a money, I do have a cell phone repair course that teaches everything about the business. It's not only about learning how to repair phones, it's also about the marketing, how you get customers to come to you. Even if you don't have a store, you guys remember, I started this in a coffee shop and I built it up to making $9,000 per month in profit in a coffee shop. And why? Is because of the marketing, that's why. You have to convince people to use your service that don't even know anything about you. So there's more to a business than just learning how to repair phones. All right, and with that, everybody, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.